Hello, I'm Alex Lepkis from Audio Technica, and we're here at the IEC in Amsterdam. And Audio Technica is proud to present our latest edition, which is our Dante Microphone Line ATND, which stands for Audio Technica Network Dante Equipped. Currently, we have two different products. On one side, we have the boundary microphone with a Dante output, and on the other hand, we have a gooseneck base where you can plug in any gooseneck microphone as you like, as it provides phantom power. So now, for those of you who are familiar with Dante, the next two sentences will be pretty boring, but Dante is one of the network technologies having streaming audio over IP in a network, so the only thing you need to have is a network cable. As you can see, all the microphones have as an output a Cat5 network cable going straight into a warm plate and then being in the matrix of Dante, which is uh, a product launched by Ordinator, an Australian company. Now, what's the benefit of having a Dante microphone or a Dante output directly on a microphone, you might say? So the question is, is it beneficial to directly do digital from the microphone? And the answer is clearly yes. It's not about audio quality or being digital sooner than that, but for the installer and for the integrator and ultimately for the customer then at the end, the benefit is it's easier to scale up and down if you like. So the only thing you have to consider is in a room, in a given room, you would just have one wall socket like this, one network socket, independently on how many microphones you want to add later on. So if you want to connect now one microphone, you just simply plug it in. Sooner or later it will just find on the network. If you want to have more than one microphone, you simply add a PoE switch as indicated here in this graphic, briefly. So if you want to have 24 microphones, just get a 24 port switch and then you plug in 24 microphones. And today you use it in one room, tomorrow you use it in the next room next door, so you can easily uh, move forward and backward with the thing and you don't have to specify and provide XLR sockets in every room you want to use the microphones for the maximum amount of channels you're going to use potentially in future. So it's easy to scale up and down later on as you like on the fly. It makes it very cost effective for the customer, for the integrator, the workload is pretty low. But at this point it doesn't stop. So when the engineers explain to us that this is their vision they have, we say, oh, that's not good enough. So we ask them to push harder. And we edit the little switch here, a tactile switch, with this funny green-red LED as it looks. Now, you might think, okay, I've seen a switch in an LED on a product like this before, so what's special about that one? The trick is, if you want to have something like this in the old analog domain, you have to run additional wires to connect these switches and these LEDs to your mixer, your matrix mixer system, which has to have specific additional contact closure inputs and so on. And you sooner or later run out of the input channels, so you have to buy more and more mixers just to control, let's say, 40 microphones. In this case, all this functionality runs over the same network cable, over Dante. So it's embedded in the data stream. The integrator doesn't need to worry about any additional level of wiring. So it's very cost effective on the wiring. And now ultimately you can solve very, very unique and uh, flexible solutions just on the programming level. You could say, okay, this boundary microphone might be my chairman. I press and hold the button and I will switch off and mute the microphone next door as long as I hold it long enough, which is just happening here. So this guy would be muted. This is just a very simple way of showing the functionality of what is possible. But um, the limit is actually your imagination. We have people making church organs out of that one by playing on the boundary microphone switches, which is probably not the most serious application that you can find. Uh, but as you have it in your hands now, and it comes free of charge because it's embedded, the, the level, what you can do with it, is accelerating upwards easily. If you look at the bottom of this microphone, you can see that we have a few functions that you can remotely control or locally control, uh, containing low cut filters and gain settings, and the functionality of the switch in local mode. So as long as you don't want to control it externally, like push to talk, push to mute, and toggle on off, for instance. As soon as you control it remotely, of course you're free of charge. And as said, we already mentioned that one. The output is just a CAT5 connector and going directly to the Dante network. That's it from me. That's a short overview on what we added at the IC show. I hope you liked it and you 
understood everything I said. If not, just go to our webpage, www.audiotechnica.com and click your region of the planet so you get your language in the explanation and you find all the information there. I hope you liked it. That was Audio Technica. Alex Lepkes, always listening.